Vayigash, Chamishi, Vayomer Yisrael, Yaakov Vinu says, Rav, Oed Yosef, Bani Choy, my son is still alive, Echel Berenel, let me go see him with Teremomos. I don't need to hear all the stories, all the greatness, what he's got. Let me just go see him, meet him face to face, see how he's doing. Vayisai Yisrael, Yaakov starts traveling with his whole family, and they stop on the road in Be'er Sheva, and he shechs Karbonos, to the God of his father Yitzchak. Doesn't say to the God of his father Avram as a person who is responsible for respecting his father more than his grandfather. By Yomer the Kim, the Rebbe comes to Yaakov in a dream. Yaakov says, I'm here. The Rebbe Hashem doesn't listen. I am the God of your father. Do not fear me. Do not fear the fact that you're going to Mitzrayim. I'll make you into a big nation. You already had seven trials in your life. Esav, Lavon, the Malach, Dina, Yosef, Shimon, and now Yamin. All those fears will still, will still survive. Go down to Mitzrayim. I will go down with you into Egypt. And I will come up with you as well. But then Rabbi Duplasik tells you, Yosef will be in charge. It means I will come up with you to bury you in Eretz Canaan. You will not be buried in Mitzrayim. But Yosef will be in charge of your burial and as well be in charge during your lifetime in Mitzrayim. Yaakov sets out with his sons, grandsons, daughters, and daughter refers to Dina. And granddaughters, which refers to your heaven and Sarah Basashur, to hit the road. He's got 33 from B'nai Leia, including his, himself, 16 from Zilpa, 7 from Billa, and 14 from Rachel. Together make 70. Kulam Nefesh Achas, they're all one soul, as they're all serving one Rabbi including Yosef and his children of Mitzrayim. And included in that number is your heaven, born between the gates, who is going to be the producer of the greatest leaders of Klai Yisrael, Moshe, Aaron, and Miriam, which then alone is a great story, and at what age she had them.